Alright dudes, Sunday, there's something then towards the end of the month. I'm going to get into this and see what's what's the dealio with that. Today, pull the bumper off it. And as you can probably see, whoever's painted the bumper up, looks like they've kind of scratched up the, the chrome, but not very well because and just scratches off with yeah so I'll put a bit of uh, hair going on that and um, paint that bugger up silver again anyway so anyway I'm going to pull this bumper off and see what we've got we might be able to uh, get a better idea of what's going on there once I knock the top off that but anyway back shortly Okay, so I'll take the, uh, the four 70 odd year old uh, bolts out. The bump comes off. Um, I'll just uh, give that, I'll, I'll, I'll lab that with some stuff. And we'll go and have a look and see what we got. Well, I've started having a bit of a go at it, and I reckon you can tell the same as I can. I first thought that might have been an actual crack in the panel, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not liking that very much. Shit, man. I'll have to grind all that shit out of there and obviously treat it. Anyway, guess I better keep going on with it, eh? Put it down to poor preparation. Over here, the the metal's pretty clean over here, so it's really only this area, sort of here, it probably goes up here a little further. That wasn't really what I was hoping for, and I thought it would have had a crack across here, but we got a hole. As you can see. Yeah, we got a hole. I'll just have to grind this out here and see what we get here. If I get more holes then I think I'll probably just make a patch. Uh, that'll clean up okay. Should I knock it out a bit. I think I'll just have to make probably make a patch and patch it in. But I'd say once so when they when they've um whoever they are <laughs> I mean it's pretty thick man so I'm gonna try and whittle it down as well anyway so then, uh, <clears throat> yeah I'd say it was poor preparation and they probably did, didn't even get up in here with their body filler and uh, I think she's opened up but anyway or maybe they didn't prepare it properly it's possible but anyway I'll dig a bit more out and see what we come up with <coughs> I've chased it around a bit no, that's a bit all cut out. The rest of this is actually quite good. The metal in it. That no, it looks pretty crappy, but um, once I clean all that up, that'll be quite good, I reckon. I chased it up here a bit. I still have to chase it around here. And then, uh, I don't know how far back I'm going to have to go. Probably all the way over to there, I guess. But no biggie. This will will eliminate that hole that we had there. Well, Rob, it has actually had a piece. I can see there's a weld line along there. It's had a piece welding in the bottom there at some stage. So. But that's all good clean metal here. 
and happy. So, well, I guess I'll just uh, cut a piece up and tack a piece in. So remember that. Remember that. Um, it's probably a bit of blasphemy. Remember that forward that I cut the hole in the bonnet to put the um, shaker on. I kept that little panel, some good, fairly good steel there. So uh, just cut the corner out of him and uh, just start to tack him in there now. And we'll come back when I've got it uh, tacked up. We'll have a look and see what it looks like. So essentially all I've got to do now is just chase a couple of pinholes. Uh, you guys get the idea. And uh, I'll put some uh, rust pr 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 converter gear on it and stuff like that. But uh, for tonight, uh, I think I'll turn you guys off and uh, only time for some dinner for me. And I'll come back after it tomorrow. Give you a bit more of a look. Have a goodie.